New at six, one of the men convicted in a brutal execution style slaying is seeking a new trial. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. Only Target 12 was there as Kenneth Day took the stand today, arguing his defense attorney withheld critical information from him when he was convicted back in 2004. Target 12 investigator Tim White's here now with the exclusive details. In 2000, Jason Burgesson and Amy Shute were carjacked, driven to a golf course, and shot to death. Today, the victim's families were in court to face one of the men convicted in this horrific case. And the case now in hearing shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. On Monday, 44-year-old Kenneth Day asked Judge Francis Darrigan for a new trial, claiming 20 years ago his attorney did not tell him prosecutors offered a plea deal that would have meant the possibility of parole. Day was convicted at trial and sentenced to life without parole. He didn't do the right thing because he tried to get me to plead guilty to life without parole. Day was one of four men who took part in the carjacking of Jason Burgess and Amy Shute, both 20 years old. They were driven to Buttonhole Golf Course in Johnston. Day's co-defendant Gregory Floyd shot the pair execution style. As far as you were concerned, you didn't pull the trigger, so you were, you were all set, right? No, I never said that. I just told you. If I was there, I was there. I mean, I am guilty of something. But did I pull the trigger? Everybody knows who pulled the trigger. Prosecutor said Day urged Floyd to kill them. Mr. Floyd was lying when he suggested that you're the one who said to bring the gun that night? He was lying. He was lying. Okay. The victim's families and their supporters were at Monday's hearing. Kelly Burgesson Sirtis is Jason's sister. The remorse that he's showing is only for himself. There is no remorse for Jason and Amy. Um, he's sorry now. Um, because he would like a lesser sentence. Sirtis and the rest of the family have for decades endured multiple trials and hearings. They will likely learn the judge's decision in late spring. Jason and Amy were given a life sentence they cannot escape from and um, we're here living this life without him and you know we don't get an appeal. As for the others, Floyd died in prison in 2021 of cancer. Samuel Sanchez and Harry Burdick are serving a life sentence without parole, and Raymond Anderson is scheduled to be released from prison in 2032. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.